we're moving on to the floor tile. And Emily, you decided to use the same tile on the floor that you're using in the shower area. Yes, except I want to lay this down in a diagonal pattern just to give it kind of a classic look on the floor, mm -hmm. kind of like the upper part of the shower. Exactly, it'll tie everything together, bring mm -hmm. it full circle. Right. I like it. Well, the one thing uh, that happens when you're doing a diagonal pattern on the floor is that it just becomes a little more time consuming. Okay. You're going to have a lot more cuts, which is fine because you're getting really good at the tile saw. Oh yeah, I'm doing our first. <laughs> Every time you hit the wall here, you've got a triangle cut to make. So, um, other than that, it's pretty easy layout, and we we get it by putting down our speed square in the corner, and we know this corner is square. And then we'll measure off of this line and set our first tile far enough so that each of these corners clears the wall, so that we don't have to make a cut. Okay. All right. So let's measure how far we need to go for our first line. It looks like one and three quarter inches will get us out where we need to be. After we make our marks, we extend them and we have the starting line for our diagonal layout. Now we use the same technique on the floor that we used on the walls, spreading out our mortar with a quarter inch U-notched trowel at a 45 degree angle. Looks good. All right, I'm going to go cut one in half and that'll fill in the corners here and you can keep on tiling right here. Okay. two cup pieces, okay. and I think before I set them in the corner, I'm gonna check this thin set. Yep, that's a good way to test it. If you press your finger in it and it doesn't release onto your hand, mm -hmm. then you know it's too dry. So okay. I'm gonna get that out of there and back butter these and throw them in the corner. Oh, okay, great. Okay. 